Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. Today we'll be demonstrating how to create these hibiscus flowers. First of all, I am taking some aluminium and shaping it out into like a deep cone shape. Just give it a good squish fold at the top until you have the desired shape. You can also cut a little hole right at the base of that so that you can feed the wire through later. Take some gum paste or fondant, preferably gum paste, it does hold its shape a little bit better and dries firmer. And what you want to do is cut out five petals. You can use this hibiscus type petal cutter or just a regular rose petal tip will um, have the same or a similar effect as well. I like to cut them all out at once and then store them in some glad wrap and then work on each individual leaf. Take a sponge pad and a ball tool and just thin out the leaf, especially along the edges to make it look a little bit more delicate and realistic. This is a petal veiner, I'm just pressing it over the top to ingrain some detail. And then continue on with the rest of your petals. You can find most of these tools on eBay as well or Amazon, very very easy to come to and not expensive at all. I gave my petals a little bit more life by adding some more um, frill towards the top edge. Once you have all five petals completed, you just want to add a little bit of water all to the right side or the left side, and then overlapping slightly until you have a half dome or a half sphere kind of shape. At that point, you want to fold it in on itself into a cone and connect all of those together. Hold it in a little hole in your hand and then give it a pinch right at the top to make sure that they all stick together. And then you can pop it into your prepared cone. You could probably do this in an egg holder as well, but I feel like the aluminium gives you a little bit more control over the shape. Fan out the very edges just to make it look a little bit more realistic. And then take some stamens, you can find these at Hobby Lobby, uh, Spotlight, Link Craft, basically most craft stores. This is floral wire, I'm just applying it right in the middle and creating a hook. And then to secure it standing, just take some floral tape, make sure it's nice and tight at the base of those stamens and work your way down the wire. I like to add two layers to make it extra strong. The higher you go on the stamens, the more they'll be um, sticking really closely together without kind of falling loose. Feed that through the base of your flower and then continue with the rest. I recommend making a few extras, sometimes you do break them along the way, so best to have some extras on hand. Once the stamens are in, you can also feed it through the aluminium at this stage as well, totally up to you. Just remember to cut a little hole at the bottom of your aluminium. Allow these to dry overnight if you can or even for a few days till they're nice and solid. Then take a fluffy brush and apply some petal dust or lacquer dust in a darker shade of your fondant or gum paste right through the middle. Work in circular motions to blend it out right to the edge of your petals. And then they are ready to apply onto your cake. Thanks guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this one and give it a go, and we'll catch you again in the next one.